What's up, MTV? I'm Dylan Manette, and welcome to the Scream Crib. This is the legendary house from the original Scream, and now it's back in Scream. Hello, Sydney. It's an honor. I'm gonna give you a tour. Totally not gruesome tour. Come on in. The original Scream, honestly, has potential to be like my favorite movie ever, so I'm so honored to be in the new one. Our amazing legacy cast is joined by a whole new group. Like my character, well, no, I, I can't tell you that, but you know, this floor is, you know, actually, I can't tell you that either. Uh, let's keep moving. I know you know this place. This is where we discuss the rules. There are certain rules to survive a horror movie. Which, in the original Scream, are be a virgin, don't do drugs, and never say, I'll be right back. I'll be right back! Oh! And what happens to him? Ah! And in the new one, there's some added rules. Never trust a love interest. The motive is always connected to the past. And number three, the first victim is always a part of a friend group that the killer is a part of. The attacks were all on people related to the original killers. Don't say I didn't warn you. I'll be right back! <gasps> yeah, sorry, I had to. Come on. I know in Cribs they tend to say, like, this is where the magic happens, but uh, that's not the case with the Scream movies. No, people who've used this bed tend to end up dying. And right here is where Billy Loomis gets stabbed in the original Scream. It was corn syrup. The blood's always, you know, corn syrup. Who wants a snack? Now this is where the real magic happens. The kitchen. I don't think there's a room in this house that has seen more action or is more iconic than this kitchen. This is where the big reveal happens. Like in the original Scream, so much goes down in this kitchen in the new movie. Like, Literally where I'm standing, and a little right over there, it really feels like a love letter to the original. But look, I don't want to spoil anything, and neither should you, so no spoilers. Now, a lot of great scenes take place on this porch, uh, one of them being when Gale gets kicked down the stairs right here and lands on top of Dewey with a knife in his back. It's quite a start to a relationship. Here it is, the one and only news van. This is right where Kenny the cameraman sadly got it. <laughs> and yeah, if you're trying to catch Ghostface, it doesn't hurt to have one of these bad boys. Doesn't smell very good. Let's keep the tour going. And this, of course, is where Tatum met the world's strongest garage door. And there used to be a doggy door right there, but I guess it's gone now. But let's keep going. All right, so these stairs have proven to be dangerous. <laughs> so watch your step. Now, this obviously wasn't in the original Scream, but it does speak to the impact of these movies. And I'm honestly just so happy to be a part of carrying the legacy forward with the old cast and the new friends or Suspects, I should say. This is really cool. I feel like I should maybe get one of these in my house. No, that'd be weird. I'm not gonna do that. This house was clearly perfect for the big chase scene that they had through here, because that way goes out that way and around, and there's so many ways in and out. This house is huge. And we're back where we began, in the entryway, which has been the setting for some huge moments in the Scream movies. And in the new movie, uh, well, you'll just have to see it to find out. Sorry. All right, MTV, thanks for stopping by the Scream crib, but you can't stay. Seriously, it isn't safe. Go, get out of here, go! Sounds about right. What's your favorite scary movie?